This Black History Month, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson is now part of Black History, the first black woman to be nominated to the Supreme Court. Nakia Crossley is the president of the Black Women Lawyers Association of Greater Chicago. We're just elated. Um, this could mean so much for our community, both the legal community and the black woman community. President Biden keeping a campaign promise that he made during the South Carolina primary that he would nominate a black woman to the nation's highest court. The work of the Supreme Court influences and shapes what justice looks like in America. To be able to have a perspective and a voice in that conversation is, is, is everything. The 51-year-old Harvard Law graduate currently sits on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. She will be the first associate justice with a background as a federal public defender and the first since Thurgood Marshall to have criminal defense experience. Cook County Public Defender Sharon R. Mitchell Jr. saying in a statement, Jackson knows that the justice system is not infallible, that we often get it wrong, and therefore how vital it is to protect the fundamental rights, liberties, and dignity of everyone who interacts with the courts, both civil and criminal. Democrats have the votes to confirm Jackson without any Republican support. Senator Lindsey Graham describing Biden's pick to replace retiring Justice Stephen Breyer as a win for the radical left. The balance of, of ideology on the court is going to remain exactly the same. There are six extremely conservative justices and three moderate to liberal justices. Crossley believes the high court could benefit from Jackson's professional and personal experience. Will Jones, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.